Um, and it's not a story about a day or so, but it's more of like pretty much a life experience, I guess. So my whole life, my brother has been a very like important figure to me. And he's not actually my blood brother, but he's my brother because, you know, all his life he said that my dad took care of him, my dad watched over him, my dad helped him with anything that he needed. And I guess he felt like so much respect for my dad that he kind of did the same for me. So anything that I needed, he was there for it. Like, whether it be friends, family, if I needed money, or, you know, especially girls, because, you know, that was my brother. So I would always look to him for experience, for help, and like every time he would teach me something, it would always be, hey, look at this, watch this, listen up, you know, you're going to need this, you're going to do this. So watch this, look, you're going to need this. And I was like, okay. So everything he did, I tried to, to mimic it, you know. I tried to watch, see how it's done, you know, do it. Because if he told me that I was going to need it, then obviously I'm going to need it. Because his advice wasn't something that I took lightly. And so... Everything after that, it was kind of like, all right, pay attention. Whether he told me to watch it or not, it was kind of like he knows what he's doing. And everything he said, it was always so slick. It was always so smooth. It was always how I wanted to be. Because every time I would ask him for help and he told me something, I'd be standing there like, like damn, like, I want to think of something like that. Like, I want to be the one to say that. And so one night, you know, I was hanging out with my friends like no other night. And um, I get a phone call from a family friend who had known me for about 10 years to this day. And... She calls me and she's crying and crying and I'm like, what's wrong? Like, what's going on? And she's like, I really need to talk to you. And I'm like, okay, talk. Like, what, what do you need to tell me? She's like, no, you need to come over here. And I was like, okay. Like, so I went over there and it's like two o'clock in the morning right now. So I'm like, you know, I'm really worried and I'm concerned and I'm like, what's going on? And so when I get there, I get out of the car and I'm like, I'm standing there and I'm, I'm waiting for her to talk and she's just looking at me. And as soon as like she starts to utter a word, she starts crying and she starts breaking down and I'm just like, ah, what's going on? And she looks at me and she's like, I'm sorry nobody told you, I'm sorry, like I wanted to tell you but nobody else wanted me to and I was like, can you just tell me what's going on? And I'm like freaking out and I'm over here starting to cry too because I don't know what's going on. And she explains to me and she said, your brother was arrested about a month ago. And I was like, a month ago? What do you mean a month ago? And she's like, yeah, it had been happening for a while, we were expecting it for a couple months but nobody wanted to tell you because nobody wanted you to worry. And it's like, it was kind of like a slap in the face because nobody had wanted to tell me. And it's like, of all people, like, really, you're not going to tell me. Like, I was the one closest to him. You know, that was my family, and you guys just aren't going to say anything. And pretty much, the reason I didn't think much of it was because my brother always left for work. And he would be gone a couple weeks at a time, you know, working. And I wouldn't expect much of it. You know, he's going to be back. I'll save up my questions till the end, and I'll, like, you know, we'll, we'll catch up at that point. And so when, he told, when they told me this, it was like, like, what am I supposed to do? Who do I turn to? Who do I go for advice? Who am I going to talk to about anything that I need? And pretty much everything from that point on, it was kind of like, you know, sad and like I was moping and complaining all the time. But then as I slowly started to like become more, more coherent, it was like, like, wow, everything I did was like, oh, okay, I know how to do this. My brother taught me. Oh, okay, I know what to do. He told me what to do. Oh, okay, I know how to handle this because he was there teaching me to, teaching it to me. So it's like everything that he taught me, I kept on to and I held on to it. So I was never really lost and it was always like he was still there. And I mean, he's not here now, but I still kind of have him because I always remember what he told me and everything that he explained to me, it was always held. So I still kind of have that with me, and he calls me every now and then to check up on me when he can, you know. It's not an everyday thing anymore, but it's still like, you know, the little bit of time that I do get to talk to him, it really makes me happy, and it's kind of like every time he talks to me, it's a little more advice, and it's a little more that I get to hold on to. And that's my story.